Hello and welcome. So today we're gonna talk about the state of the PTU. So yeah, it's gonna be another one uh, sprint report. So yeah, just strap in and bring your popcorn. So yeah, um, roll intro. Hello, my name is Grumpy. Alright, so today I've spent a couple of hours, a ton of hours, uh, in the PTU and I was trying to like figure out what they've fixed and it seems like they haven't fixed anything. And I gotta be honest, I didn't play this patch, this update, that much. I played it I think once and this is like the first time that I actually like tried it out. And uh, yeah, it's, same, it's the same fucking thing, uh, a bunch of things are just broken and uh, I'm not sure if CAG is even fucking working on it. So yeah, we'll see. We've um, found out a couple of new bugs. Uh, one of my org mates reported one of the bugs. Uh, yeah, it's like the MO trader just doesn't wanna. If you wanna click yes after sending some funds, it doesn't wanna revert to the previous screen, so you can actually send more funds to somebody else. It's not a big deal to be honest, but yeah, I mean it. It is a bug. And I think that it should be, like, resolved before the patch actually drops. But here's why I am making the video. One thing that I have realized that is gonna be the worst fucking thing in the next patch is... CAG actually, like, physicalized the components. But they didn't. But they did. But, like, the ship components are physicalized. But they're not. But they are. Or maybe the best way to put it is that they are localized now. And like, if you buy some ship components on, let's say, R Corp, uh, they are gonna stay there unless you put them on a ship. You cannot transport them at all. Which is like, yeah, we knew that, but I didn't even fucking realize how bad is that gonna be. And this is why. So, uh, I've, I was playing with the org and we have realized that uh, CAG was working on the distortions. And distortions actually got a big buff now and I'm gonna talk about that later. But, we wanted to test it out. And what happened? I wanted to test it out on the Buccaneer. So, I hopped to uh, R Corp and I realized that... Uh, when I bought the XJ1s and XJ2s that can be found on R Corp, uh, you can't find the size uh, size trees. I, I, I'm just struggling to remember if they're even in the game. If you can, you probably can buy them on uh, Microtech, but it doesn't matter. So I hopped to R Corp and then I realized that I gotta equip my Buccaneer over there, right? So I uh, claimed my Buccaneer, uh, it got stored in uh, R Corp, I had to spawn it so I can actually like do anything to it. Then I had to store it because you can't do anything to a ship that's already spawned, okay, whatever. And then I uh, st started equipping it with uh, size 1 and size 2 uh, distortion repeaters, and then I have realized that I have a s uh, size 4 cannon on top of the buck, instead of having a spinal mount that I wanted to, like, because I wanted to, to put two size 2 uh, distortion repeaters on it, right? So then I realized that I gotta buy the spinal mount uh, from Grimhex, right? So basically what I had to do is I had to hop to R Corp because I was already there. I had to buy the shit. Then I had to hop back to Grimhex because that's my main uh, uh, hospital location, whatever it's called. And then <laughs> I had to buy the spinal mount, equip it on the Buccaneer, then hop back to fucking R Corp and then equip the two size two repeaters on it. I mean... Uh, uh, why is that a thing? That's so... F I mean, that's bad on so many fucking levels. And, of course, to make things worse, CAG has changed, like, all the locations of the components, so you can't uh, even go to, like, Microtech with all your ships and just claim them there and buy everything over there like you could in the previous patches. Now, all the things are just scattered around the verse, and that's just, like, m making things even worse, like... I'm I'm serious now. Like, does any of the fucking employees in CAG fucking play the game, or that, do they play any fucking game? I mean, this is just like my head hurts just f from fucking thinking about that. Like, why is that a thing? 
if they are not physicalized like they should be if we cannot transport them let's say if we had a caterpillar and we got all of our components inside a caterpillar that would be fine and then we, we could just like uh, do a, a run around the verse and uh, get all the components from all the fucking stations and go to our main location and then store them there right but we can't do that right now and like why would you introduce a, a game mechanic uh, to the game when it's not fucking finished like this is just fucking the, the, I don't want to be so fucking negative but like this is this is actually embarrassing like how did they not think about that like are they actually trying to make our lives like miserable? I, are they actually trying to make everything worse for for us? I I, I I seriously don't get it. And I know that there's gonna be white knights here talking about like yeah you you don't know shit. It, it should be like that. Oh it's an alpha. Oh it's this. Oh it's that. No dude. Like if I don't speak, I mean I I said this in the previous four fucking videos. If I don't speak about it now, if we don't speak about it now it will not be resolved and it will just stay like that for i don't know how long for fucking years probably i mean just look at the prospector killing you when you enter it and that i mean that's that should be enough to end any arguments uh, about this so let's talk about the distortions uh they have been buffed uh which is like surprising and actually really cool because i really like the distortions and uh in 3.13 i was actually like running a buccaneer with all distortions except the main cannon on top that was a c788 which got nerfed to the ground by CG because everything like when when anything is overpowered in this game like CG just nerfs it to the fucking ground and there's nothing left of it. Uh, so yeah, I, I still see some like some peeps in like uh, 3.14 uh, running the C788, which like deals less damage than a single size one repeater, which is just like fucking abysmal. And but yeah, anyway, so the distortions are really good now. A few hits with a uh, sucker punches uh, can actually like uh, disengage your ship fully uh, i i can't really uh, comment on the alpha damage or the dps because i don't know that i don't work for uh, urkel.games uh that that is their thing and they need to like update their uh, website but uh, i can say that i have tried it with my org and we shot at each other uh, with the distortion cannons and the distortion repeaters and they are really really good now so the distortion cannons can like uh disengage your ship in a few shots uh they can take down your shields if you're in a, a single uh seater like a small fighter with like two size two shields uh, you just need a couple of shots to disengage the shields and then you can do some damage with your damage dealing weapon or you can just like disengage the enemy ship uh, which is gonna be really cool and i i can't wait for the patch to drop so uh, when i see a griefer, griefer or an ulcer i'm just gonna disengage his ship over and over again and it's just gonna be more annoying than going to cluster and it's pretty much gonna be a war of attrition because like it's, it just comes to who has more time on their hands and like i have no fucking life pretty much except the dog and like a few things and that's it so yeah griefers beware <laughs> um on the other hand like uh, the buccaneers still spontaneously combusts uh the cutty reds uh metal kill thing when you when you try to heal somebody you just look downwards in your uh, to your fucking feet and you can't see it there's a bunch of holes uh in grim hex because uh, i was i was just living in grim hex forever now and uh like you lo you lose oxygen in some places and you lose health like immediately uh even though you're like right next to the asop terminals so <laughs> yeah that's fun also my friend had a problem uh where like it was a problem that he had a few times where like the gravity reversed 
in Grim Hex for some fucking reason, and he just ended up uh, on top of the fucking uh, ceiling and then fell down to the ground, which like ended up in him dying because like he hit the floor with his face, and that's never good. So yeah, there's a lot of strange bugs. There, there's a lot of strange things happening. Like people are still shooting each other with metaguns right next to ace up terminals, and like nowhere is fucking safe because everybody can loot you once once you're down. So yeah i mean to be honest i'm i'm i have joined the dark side and i'm like one of the guys that's doing that because i just want people to get pissed off and upvote that bug because i can't really consider it a feature like cg please do not make that a feature because that's just fucking annoying right and there's a few bugs that I didn't address uh, in the previous videos uh, that are that have been in this patch and they are, I mean, there's just too many of the fucking bugs. I already told you that you can't see your MFDs. I mean, I mean the MFDs do work, but like your status and the enemy status, just you, you can't see their shields or your shields. You can't see uh, the enemy's uh, hull or your hull. It's just, uh, it doesn't work. Uh, on the other hand, uh, the star map mostly doesn't work work because like uh, for some reason uh, either the planets disappear completely like the planets in the moons and you can't see anything except the uh, names of the planets in the moons or you just cannot select the route or set the route and like uh, that's always fun and and uh, game breaking and then on top of that uh, people keep on disappearing and like go invisible and people can't like see each other uh, I mean, there's no video to show that, but believe me, you can't see them, uh, even though they are there. It happened to me a few times. Um, I lost my head, of course. I, I lost my Moby Glass, of course, because that's still a thing. Uh, when you spawn in Clasher after you just like left the server and you spawn back in Clasher, you spawn if you in your uh, armor. Um, from what I know, you do not lose it when you all leave Clasher, which is good. But I mean, if, if you want to uh, mine your way out after uh, uh, spawning in, in your armor, you're going to have a really good time. And that is it for today, guys. I mean, I can talk a, f a few more hours about the bugs in 3.15. Uh, from what I've heard from one of the subscribers, like this patch has... Uh, like 3,000 more bug reports in the issue console than any other bug before. Uh, so I'm not sure if that's true, but I mean, it sure as fuck seems like it's true. So yeah, I think that CAG is going to postpone this uh, patch. Like they're going to delay it as long as they can because like this just ain't working. Uh, this is just not working and like... Most of the bugs that, that you endure, uh, you just die to them, and uh, there's no, like, reviving mechanic, you just die, and that's it. And uh, that needs to be addressed, and that needs to be, like, even if you die in, in your ship, the promise was that you will just float over there and wait for somebody to pick you up, right? So you don't lose your, your shit. Uh, and when you do, do you have a marker? Like, there's no fucking marker where your body was. Like if if only we if only there was a space game that had a marker where you die oh yeah space engineers yeah okay yeah and the ships are free there because you fucking built them right so yeah that's it for today guys I I just can't uh, thank you for watching don't forget to bring a towel when you're traveling through space and uh, hello it's me. Wondering why you didn't hit that subscribe button already Goodbye I'll see you later And I love you all I love you all I love you all Mwah. Bye uh, Alright, fuck it Hello from the outside I wish you had the subscribe Cause I know that it will make me happy Oh yes it will, yes it will oh, um, Bye